Okay, this is the hay soaking station. These are three coolers. They're 150 quart coolers, just regular coolers that you buy in any hardware or department store. Um, in the summer, we use cold water. In the winter, we, we use hot water. And these coolers work great. In the winter, it keeps the water warm all night long, even in sub-zero weather. Uh, right now, I'm filling up. I've already done these two. Now, I'm filling up this one. This is, I'm filling it up with cold water right now. And then I'll put the hay in. Now, see, I want to show you how clear the water is. And I'm going to show you a difference after the hay has soaked a while. But first, we'll get set up. Now I'm going to grab some hay, and these are these coolers are perfect size for the hay. See how that fits in there nicely? Push it down, make sure it's going to be covered with water. I'm still running in water right now. We're almost done with that. So we'll shut it off and make sure they don't overflow. I'm putting the hay in the other side. These are good, nice, thick flakes. Yeah, now push it down, make sure it gets covered. Yeah, now I like to just shut the cover, to keep them nice and clean. I'll shut the other one. Alrighty, I will come back in a little while. Okay, here we are back at the coolers. Let's take a look at what's happened. Take a look at this water. It was clear. Do you remember? That was nice and clear. Look at how brown that is. Now you see, when you buy sugar from the store, it's white, but it's white because they bleached it. Sugar is actually brown. We are removing sugar from this hay. I soak it too. The number one reason is to get this sugar out. But if you stop and think about it, grass, grass is a horse's natural food. Grass is moist and soft. I am putting moisture back in this hay and I'm making it soft. The horses love it. It's easier for them to chew. It's better for their digestion. And look at this. It has lots of less sugar. Sugar's not good for any of us, as we all know. So now what I do is I lift it up a second at a time because I'll tell you what, wet hay is heavy. <laughs> and we let it drain a little. Then we put it over here in a draining tub and I let that drain for a few minutes and then I give it to the horses nice wet moist soft hay that is less sugar hey ladybug you're ready huh she loves it and I have put dry hay out before beside the wet hay just to test to see and they would rather have the wet hay. Even dry hay that hasn't has the sugar in it, they'll pick the wet hay. So, win-win. Well, I'd like to thank you for being with me today. Um, I appreciate you all. And thank you for sharing the love with horses with me. I hope to see you in the next one.